What's going on, guys? This is Jamie here. Now, uh, me and that dude been talking, talking for a while, and uh, he told me today that he wanted me to give my opinion. I said, you know what? It's mighty nice for you fellas to, to, to ask me for my opinion. And uh, I have some frustrations, and I'm going to talk about those today. First frustration I have is, um, oh, let me get a little backstory, because y'all don't even know who I am. My name is Jim. I'm from Itabina, Mississippi. Born and raised. Count about 300 people. In my graduating class, we had about 15. And uh, everybody knew everybody. Nice town. Nice town. But uh, one thing we believed in is hard work. You see, here's the problem. We have all these immigrants coming over here trying to take all the American jobs. And they trying to pay us diddly squat. Now, when I first started my company, we made, we made some great money. Uh, for instance, I started off at $13 an hour. Now, my mom worked at that factory. My dad worked at that factory. My brother worked at that factory. Brother-in-law worked at that factory. Sister-in-law worked at that factory. We were a family. And it was great. But then all of a sudden, these Mexicans started coming in. And I don't even know if they had all that paperwork together, to be honest. They came in and started working. Then they started laying off. Then they started hiring more Mexicans. And before you know it, they done uprooted the dang on company, moved to Mexico. And I was traveling in Ohio, and I seen a lot of clothes manufacturing companies out there. And I'm asking myself, what the heck is going on with this country? You see, let me tell you something. Manufacturing companies were everywhere. We had the steel industry. We had all kinds of businesses in America. Now all those things going overseas and they want to pay people diddly squat to do work. Right? Now, I come from a place where a man used these to get some money. The problem in the world is everybody want to be on that dang on internet and make money and be lazy. That's like the metrosexual type stuff there if you ask me. My son came to me the other day and said, my daddy, I want to pursue my passion. I say, son, what the hell of a passion? He said, dad, I want to join a rock band. I say, the hell you are? A rock band? What the hell are you thinking? A man uses this to make to make work. Now, some of you may say, I don't get but $10 an hour. That's a good living. You can feed your family, but this internet crap, don't... Those guys don't be making that kind of money on the internet and everybody trying to follow their passion. Well, you think you're Beethoven or something? I mean, really. I told him, you aren't following no damn passion and, and painting no damn uh, your face up with all that black paint and trying to be a damn old uh, rock star. I'm not paying for that. Pe a man works for his income. Riding around these touring countries and all that other kind of stuff. No, I'm not having it. You gonna work. You're going to find a job in your town, son, and you can get you a good wife and some kids, and you're going to make an honest living. Now, I do, here's what we disagree. Now, he be talking about all that money and dreams and all those kind of stuff. I mean, really, everybody is not going to be rich. I mean, a lot of those guys get inheritance. They get inheritance, and they get all this money from their daddy. You can't make all that money in a lifetime. Things have not been the same since 9-11. 9-11 happened, Bin Laden messed up everything in this damn country. Messed up everything. And my thing is, things are not going to get better until we get a good president in that office. That's just the way it is. I mean, stop focusing on the money and getting rich and get you a job. That's all you need. The A job is all you need, people. I mean, really. It's not that complicated. You know, uh, I'm not going to be reading all these books and the, all this jigamaros. I'm not going to be reading all that. I'm going to keep a job, feed my family, drink a meal light every now and then. That's it. That's all you need to do. And pray that the Social Security be there. Because I tell you, the way the government's spending money, boy, hey, boy, I just don't know what to tell you. 
So, my my suggestion is, is that we bring back American jobs. We bring back manufacturing. Now, see, now, some of you may say with the internet, everything get faster. Let me tell you something. I had a job, and we had family picnics and all kinds of stuff. Then all of a sudden, the boss laid me off. And I said, sir, how can you do that? I've been working for you for so many years. You know my wife, you know my sons, and you're gonna lay me off? And he had the dog on nerve to tell me he couldn't afford me. I'm like, what do you mean you couldn't afford me? Didn't you have some money when you started this business? But then he says, but didn't I pay you for the time you were here? I'm like, yeah, you did, but where's the loyalty? You know, I know Abdul had a video talking about, you know, you can't uh, put your trust in, in a job. Why can't you put your trust in a job? A job pays bills. That boss is supposed to do everything in his power to make sure I have a living. And I'm going to make sure that I work for that boss. I don't care about hard times. Deal with it. I'm depending on you. If I bought a house, if I bought a car, if I bought all these things, and I have to feed my family, I can't be worried about you taking a job away from me. That was a hard time. So we need to send all these immigrants back to their country and we need high paying jobs in America. Now, I just want to end this with this. McDonald's is creating all that automated crap. Now, automated robots, that's inhumane. Pay people money for those jobs. McDonald's, you got all these damn robots out there trying to uh, feed people. That's not right. That is not right. It's time to put money back in American pockets. So I'm not going to be on my soapbox with too long, people. I'm going to go ahead and end this. But this is Jim from Italy, Mississippi. And sometimes I'll be chiming in on this. And I'll end it with this. End it with this that in life, if you don't work hard with these hands, you're not going to get what you want. With the good Lord bless you with, what we're going to bless you with. So I'm going to leave you that. And I hope everything going good out there in, in YouTube land. And until next time, guys, see you later.